In the annals of history, where darkness and power intertwine, the story of Lena Heydrich unfolds. A tale of unwavering loyalty, family tragedy, and a legacy mired in the shadows of the Nazi regime. Born in the tranquil town of Feymarn in 1911, Lena von Osten's early life was marked by simplicity and order. Her days were filled with the usual childhood pursuits, but even at a young age, she was drawn to the allure of power and ideology. In the late 20s, Lena's path took a turn. She graduated from school in 1927 and pursued a career in trade teaching. However, her life would forever change at a rowing club ball in Kiel in 1930. It was here that she encountered Reinhard Heydrich, a man who would go down in history as one of the most ruthless architects of the Holocaust. Heydrich, with his striking features and charismatic demeanor, was a man who held a powerful allure. Their connection was immediate and profound, their shared extremist ideologies forming a bond that would tie them together for life. In 1931, they sealed their union with marriage, and over the next decade, they welcomed four children into their lives. But their domestic bliss was not what it seemed. As Heydrich was recruited into the SS by Heinrich Himmler, Lena stood by him, unwavering in her support. She encouraged his ambition, his rise through the ranks, and his transformation into a figure of terror. Their home life was a stark contrast to the horrors he orchestrated outside their doors. Yet, Lena remained steadfast, a pillar of support in his relentless pursuit of power. Bound by ambition and radical beliefs, Lena stood by Reinhard, encouraging him to ascend the ranks of the SS, leaving a trail of terror in his wake. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink and the destructive power of extremist ideologies. As we delve deeper into their lives, we are forced to confront the uncomfortable truths that lie in the shadows of history. As Reinhard's star rose, so did the horrors he inflicted. Reinhard Heydrich, a man of towering height and piercing blue eyes, found himself in the unyielding grip of the Schutzstaffel, the infamous SS. Propelled by his wife, Lena, who shared his extremist ideologies, Heydrich climbed the ranks of the SS, leaving indelible footprints of terror in his wake. He became a key figure in the implementation of the final solution, the Nazi plan for the genocide of Jews during World War II. As he orchestrated the Holocaust from behind a desk, his hands remained clean, but his soul was steeped in the blood of millions. His policies were ruthless, his methods brutal, and his legacy terrifying. While Reinhard was painting the world red with his atrocities, his family was ascending the social ladder. Lena, along with their four children, benefited from her husband's position, living a life of privilege in the midst of horror. They resided in an imposing castle on the serene island of Feymarn, a stark contrast to the places where Reinhard's policies were wreaking havoc. But even within the castle's high walls, the shadow of Reinhard's brutality loomed large. Their lives were marked by a disconcerting duality, their days filled with luxuries afforded by Reinhard's position and their nights haunted by the knowledge of his monstrous deeds. Then, in 1942, Reinhard's reign of terror was abruptly halted. Assassinated in Prague, he left behind a family that had been shielded by his power, now exposed to the harsh realities of a world at war. As Heydrich orchestrated atrocities that would darken the pages of history, his family enjoyed a privileged existence, overshadowed by his growing legacy of brutality. The Heydrichs' rise to power was intertwined with the horrors of the Holocaust, a chilling testament to the human capacity for indifference in the face of evil. In the wake of Reinhard's death, Lena found herself navigating a world that had shifted beneath her feet. This was a world that had been torn apart by war, a world that was beginning to comprehend the horrors that had been perpetrated under the banner of the Nazi regime. And at the heart of that regime, orchestrating some of its most chilling atrocities, had been Reinhard. Left a widow with four children, Lena's life took a drastic turn. From the grandeur of her husband's power, she was thrust into the harsh realities of widowhood and the stigma of being linked to a man whose name had become synonymous with brutality. Yet she held on, steadfast, even as the world around her crumbled. The death of their eldest son, Klaus, in a traffic accident in 1943, was a devastating blow to the family. Already reeling from Reinhard's assassination, this tragedy compounded their loss. But Lena, 
Ever the survivor, pressed on, steering her family through the tumultuous aftermath of the war. With the fall of the Third Reich, Lena found herself in the crosshairs of the Allied authorities. Yet she managed to evade prosecution, slipping through the cracks of a system overwhelmed by the scale of the war's atrocities. It was a testament to her resilience, or perhaps a chilling illustration of how the powerful often escape justice. Despite the damning evidence of her husband's war crimes, Lena pursued a general's pension with relentless determination. She clung to the remnants of the life she had once known, unwilling or unable to fully acknowledge the monstrous legacy her husband had left behind. In the shadows of her husband's monstrous legacy, Lena navigated a world that was rapidly turning against the very ideals she once championed. It was a journey marked by resilience and controversy, a journey that would continue to stir debate long after her death. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. In her later years, Lena sought to control the narrative of her life and that of her infamous husband. Shaped by the tumultuous times she lived through, Lena's journey took yet another turn as she entered her twilight years. Finding solace in remarrying, Lena tied the knot with Mauno Maninen, a Finnish businessman. However, this period of her life was not without its share of tragedies. The castle, her once majestic home, was lost to her, taken away by the winds of change and the aftermath of the war. Yet, amidst these trials, Lena found a way to voice her experiences in her own words. She penned down her memoirs, a book titled Life with a War Criminal. It was her attempt to tell her side of the story, to present her life as the wife of one of history's most infamous figures. But her memoirs were not just a simple retelling of events. They were a testament to her continued loyalty to her deceased husband and the ideologies they once shared. However, Lena's memoirs were met with widespread controversy. Her portrayal of her husband and her life with him was seen as an attempt to whitewash the atrocities committed under the Nazi regime. Particularly contentious were her statements that minimized the horrors of the Nazi concentration camps. These assertions were seen as a flagrant denial of the historical truth, an affront to the memory of the millions who suffered and perished under the Nazi regime. Her attempts to rewrite the narrative sparked outrage and debate. Critics accused her of being complicit in the crimes committed by her husband, while others argued that she was a victim of her circumstances, blinded by her devotion to her husband. Lena Heydrich's memoirs offered a glimpse into the life of a woman intertwined with one of history's most notorious figures, sparking outrage and debate over her attempts to rewrite the narrative. So we are left with a complex and controversial figure, a woman who sought to control the narrative, even as the world stood against her. Lena Heydrich's death did not put to rest the controversies that surrounded her life. As we delve into the final chapter of Lena Heydrich's life, it becomes abundantly clear that her legacy is as complex and contentious as the life she led. In the year 1985, at the age of 76, Lena passed away, leaving behind a legacy that continues to be marred by controversy. During her twilight years, Lena lived a quiet life, a stark contrast to the turbulence of her earlier years. Yet, even in her solitude, the echoes of her past reverberated, casting long shadows over her present. Despite the fall of the Nazi regime and the global condemnation of its crimes, Lena remained unapologetic, staunchly defending her husband's actions and ideologies. This unwavering ardor for a condemned cause has led many to question the extent of her complicity in the atrocities committed during the reign of the Nazis. In the wake of her death, the narratives that Lena promoted throughout her life have continued to spark debate. While some view her as a victim of circumstance, trapped in the machinations of a ruthless regime. Others perceive her as an active participant, a woman who not only condoned but also encouraged the atrocities committed by her husband. Her memoir, Life with a War Criminal, adds another layer of complexity to this discourse. While it offers an intimate glimpse into the life of a woman entwined with one of history's most notorious figures, it also serves as a testament to her attempts to rewrite the narrative to paint a more favorable picture of her husband and the Nazi regime. Lena Heydrich's death marked the end of a chapter steeped in infamy, leaving behind a legacy that continues to evoke questions about guilt, responsibility, and the rewriting of history. 
In the grand tapestry of history, the threads of Lena Heydrich's life weave a story of unwavering loyalty, controversy, and a legacy that continues to cast long, dark shadows, challenging us to confront the darkest chapters of our past and the legacies we choose to leave. As we conclude this exploration into the life of Lena Heydrich, we are left with a narrative that is as controversial as it is thought-provoking. In the end, Lena Heydrich's legacy is a testament to the power of narrative and the importance of historical accountability. Her story is a stark reminder that history is not just a record of events, but a complex tapestry of perspectives, interpretations, and narratives. It is a stark reminder that the narratives we choose to tell and the ones we choose to believe can shape our understanding of history and our perception of the world. Lena Heydrich's life serves as a compelling example of this. Despite the global condemnation of the Nazi regime and its atrocities, Lena chose to tell a different narrative, a narrative that sought to depict her husband and the Nazi regime in a more favorable light. Her memoir, Life with a War Criminal, serves as a testament to this attempt to rewrite history. Whether we view Lena as a victim or an accomplice, her story challenges us to question our understanding of history and the narratives we choose to accept. It compels us to delve deeper, to look beyond the surface, and to question the narratives that shape our understanding of the world. As we reflect on Lena's life and legacy, we are reminded of the importance of historical accountability and the power of narrative. Her story challenges us to confront our past, to question our narratives, and to strive for a more nuanced understanding of history. Thank you for joining us on this dark journey through history. If you found this story intriguing, don't forget to follow us for more such deep dives into the shadows of the past.